Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. We got mail. Santee, can you do one on the importance of mules in the Old West? David Schwartzberg. Yeah, yeah. Let's celebrate the mule. If I'd have known, I'd have baked a cake. Since making the horses video, I've been getting a lot of requests for one on another mammal working its butt off in the Wild West, the mule. The mule deserves much more credit in history than it gets. Even today it lives in the shadow of the horse. Many people think they're less intelligent and temperamental. I think after this video you will have a different outlook on this amazing equine. The mule's ability to handle rough terrain, protect themselves, and about eight other reasons made them a superior choice for settling the West. So, what exactly is a mule? The only reliable reading is the encyclopedia. A mule is the love child of a male donkey and a female horse. In other words, a mare and a jack donkey meet in a bar, have a few drinks, and after some horsing around, produce the mule. Now we have traits of both creating excellent offspring. Sadly, this hybrid comes out sterile, so it cannot make more mules. The physical characteristics are similar to a horse, with a more rounded nose and longer ears, but the personalities are quite different. The combined qualities of these two equine families make an animal that is more sure-footed and able to forage on a larger variety of wild flora. They were used for pulling freight in the Old West because of their endurance and ability to pack heavier loads than a horse. Mules also have a greater resistance to illness and are less prone to injury. Additionally, if there is a predator attack, a mule is more likely to bite and kick where a horse will run away. Now, horses have better speed than the mule and are therefore more useful for cavalry and racing. Crossing great distances in a hurry is a good thing if danger is around. For instance, in the mid-1800s, census records show that there were more horses than mules in the state of Texas, but the reverse in New Mexico and Arizona. That makes sense since our region is more rocky and mountainous, where the mule excels. You Sarah Mesh? Yes, I am. Looking to buy a mule. And what are you going to use this mule for? Well, I bought a mine, and I need to dig into it. And, well, I don't want to do it myself, so I thought I'd get a mule to do it for me. So you want to burrow? No, I don't want to burrow. I want the mule to burrow for me. The mule ain't going to burrow for you. No? Okay. No, you're going to have to get the people. People? People. <laughs> well, I don't want to pay for people. What else you got? What, what else mean? I got? I got badgers. Badgers? badgers? Badgers dig? Oh, yes, they do. Okay. My How much is a badger? 40 bucks. 40 bucks for a badger? And then there's there's 20 for the leash because you got to have a leash on Okay. You're set to go. You can dig all the holes you want to. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Not a problem, sir. Here, badger, 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 badger. There are Mexican and American varieties of mules. <laughs> Mexican mules are generally smaller. They eat less, have much more endurance, and recover quicker. Incidentally, they have carried more weight than their American counterparts. Mules were used in the mines to pull mine carts, and in the example of the Queen Mine in Bisbee, Arizona, they were corralled in the mine. The sad news is, due to the dim to no light in the mines, the mules ended up blind when they were reintroduced to the outside. Don't worry, the mining company devised a way to help them. These smart mules also knew how many ore carts they pulled, so if another cart was loaded and put on their train, they wouldn't move. You know you were right, you are as stubborn as my mule. When we think about donkeys, we think stubborn and difficult. Mules can be that way, and they require humans who know what they're doing in order to handle them. You see, my mule don't like people laughing. It's the crazy idea you're laughing at him. As with all equines, mistreating them will only make them more difficult to handle because they'll be afraid or distrustful. Make a friend of your mule and it will serve you well. 
Today, the mule is still very busy. The Queen Creek Police Department in Arizona and Yosemite National Park use them for search and rescue missions. Not only that, but recently in Death Valley, California, there was a reenactment of the 20 mule teams that were prevalent in pulling ore carts in the 19th century. Hi, I'm Dave Rogers of the Frontier American Illustrated News. I want to give a big thanks to author and historian Dave Rogers, who did extensive research and writing time on mules. For this article on them, please see the link in the description field down below. Well, folks, that's it for another episode. I wanted to mention that we have a merchandise sale going on until June 25th. That's 20% off all merchandise. There's a link in the description field down below to give you details. I also want to thank all the patrons on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. Really helpful. Appreciate your support. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on down the trail. Ranger, what can I do for you? You sour mash? Yes, I am. Need to get a burrow. <laughs>